Hello guys. So today let's talk about some awesome stuff. Black Ops. In a normal life of star, there's a constant tug of war between gravity and the outward pressure of the star. The outward pressure of the star is due to the nuclear fusion that's going on in the star. So throughout the life of the star, the gravity and the outward pressure exactly balance out each other. That's why the star is stable. As the star reaches end of its life, gravity wins the tug of war and the material in the star gets compressed due to its own gravity. The mass of the star, the greater the force of the gravity. For a small star, even though gravity collapses the material inside it, the repulsive force between the electrons in the star holds the collapse inside the star. And this star eventually dies peacefully. These type of stars are called a white dwarf. But now let's talk about the massive ones. The massive stars explode in a supernova. All that remains is the star's core. If the star's core is about 2.5 times the mass of a sun, then no known repulsive force inside the star can hold the gravity for completely collapsing the core into a black hole. From the perspective of a collapsing star, the core compacts to a point which has virtually zero volume with infinite density. At this point, it's called a singularity. So how far can you compress something that you reach nature's ultimate breakdown limit when the object forms a black hole? So this limit is called a Schwarzschild radius. Is the radius of a sphere such that if all the mass of an object were to be compressed in that sphere, then the escape velocity of the sphere is equal to the speed of light. Escape velocity. For example, if you have to launch a rocket from Earth, you have to launch it with a velocity which is equal to the escape velocity of Earth so that it can escape the Earth's gravitational pull. For a black hole, this Schwarzschild radius is its event horizon. That's why you cannot see anything inside the event horizon because light itself cannot travel back out of the event horizon. As the escape velocity past the event horizon is more than the speed of light. So if we want to make the sun a black hole, we have to compress all its mass to a region which is about 3 kilometers, then our sun would become a black hole. So this was it for today. Give the video a thumbs up if you like the video. Share the video with your friends. Hit the subscribe button. Or if you are on a mobile device, click the red button. That's under the video. If you are to read more about black holes, I'll put the link in the description. Comment down below with your suggestion. And as always, stay curious, stay awesome.